and say hi. Um, Kali is our dog. We've had her for about five years. She's a toy fox terrier. And she's a beautiful creature. She's taught me so much. And she's going to join us for our meditation. Um, I want to start by sharing what our secret of meditation is for this week. And it's a beautiful one. Uh, the secret of meditation is offering yourself up wholly to the Lord, holding nothing back. You know, God knows everything anyway, so why should we hide anything from Him? When we're hiding, this creates a sense of fear and separation and anxiety. It's Yogananda said something that I found so inspiring. He said that God doesn't mind your faults, right? He minds your indifference. So if we can offer ourselves up to God with this sense of freedom, of intimacy, of knowing, the important point is knowing that God is on our side. That Divine Mother, like Kali, like our dog here, and our Cosmic Divine Mother, she is on our side. And there's something that a French saint said that Swami Kriyananda used to quote often that I, I meditate on a lot myself, that if you knew how much God loved you, you would die for joy. We, we, have, we can't even fathom, right? It's beyond our capacity to intellectually understand, but to feel that God is on our side and that the masters and the saints are rooting for us and they are encouraging us. So this is so very important for us that if we can offer ourselves up wholly, uh, holding nothing back, it, here's the other important point for us in meditation is then we can progress slowly. Because if we're holding things, if we're hiding and not offering ourselves up freely and completely, God's light and grace can't come in for our transformation. So this is incredibly important. And another aspect in self-offering that is important is that those the darkness that we want to offer up for transmutation into the light, that is our fodder. That is our fuel for self-realization. Remember in the Bhagavad Gita that Krishna counsels Arjuna. Krishna, who represents God incarnate, is counseling us, Arjuna, as the devotee. And saying that your those very material uh, tendencies and habits that you're fearful to give up, they they don't die. You they're actually transformed. So your darkness is changed into light, and meditation becomes this form of spiritual alchemy, where you can offer up all those things within yourself, good, bad, and different, and offer them up to God without reservation. So let's take this attitude of self-offering into our meditation today. Let's start by bringing the hands in front of the heart, closing your eyes, and take a few conscious breaths with me. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling. Bring the feeling nature from your heart inward and upward, gazing at the point between the eyebrows. And let's listen to the secret of meditation again. The secret of meditation is offering yourself up wholly to the Lord, holding nothing back. So make an inward prayer that you offer all that you are up to God, up to Divine Mother, inviting the Divine Light into your heart, filling it with Divine Love into your mind, filling it with wisdom, and into your soul nature, filling it with Divine Bliss. Om. Peace. Let's inhale and tense the body. Exhale and relax. Inhale. Exhale, relax. 
One more time. Inhale. Now let's check our posture. Palms upturned at the juncture of the thigh and abdomen, keeping the chest open, bringing the shoulder blades together, tucking the chin, gazing at the point between the eyebrows, behind closed eyes, lifting the eyes up gently, as if you were gazing at a distant mountain peak just above the horizon line, off in the distance. Let's do a few rounds of the even count breathing. Exhaling completely. And then inhaling for a count of three. Holding for three. And exhaling for three. And inhaling for five. Holding for five. Exhaling for five. Inhaling for seven. Holding for seven. Exhaling seven. Now just allow your breath to flow naturally. So you're not controlling it in any manner. You're becoming an observer of your breath. Feel that each breath is that self offering that we talked about in the secret. Listen again to the secret for this week. The secret of meditation is offering yourself up wholly to the Lord, holding nothing back. Feel that each breath is a self-offering. Without controlling the breath, you're just observing it. You can feel that you're offering it from the heart, inward and upward, to the point between the eyebrows. Let's add in the practice of the mantra, Hong Sa, to help us concentrate. So whenever your natural inhalation happens, accompany it with the mental mantra, Hong. And whenever your exhalation happens, Sa. can also move the right index finger, the pointer finger on your right hand, very slightly towards the palm as you inhale with hong and relaxing it with saw. Feel that you're offering yourself wholly and completely through your concentrated and aware practice of hong saw. wanders, just bring your gaze back to the spiritual eye, lifting the gaze gently back to the awareness of your breath, Hong on the inhalation, saw on the exhalation.
now release the technique, exhaling gently three times in succession through the mouth. Remain breathless for a few moments, offering yourself completely inward and upward to the point between the eyebrows. Breathe naturally as you breathe through the nose, and inwardly, willingly, and joyfully, and lovingly offer all that you are, all your self-identifications of caste or creed or your upbringing or your occupation, your sex, your role in life. Offer it all up into a bonfire of bliss at the point between the eyebrows. Listen again. The secret of meditation is offering yourself up wholly to the Lord, holding nothing back. joy that comes in the giving and the self-offering in the loving of God inwardly through your silent meditation. And let's close by offering that same love and devotion and blessings and willingness to God in all creation, your friends, your family, people that you've had a challenged relationship with, your colleagues radiating these blessings out to all mankind, to creatures everywhere. Bringing the hands in front of the heart. Let's pray that we be instruments for the Divine Mother, for her divine energy, vitality, blessings, and joy to all creation, to all sentient beings as we rub the palms together. Praying for all those on our healing prayer list as well that have asked for prayers, especially rubbing the palms together, magnetizing the heart's compassion. Let's hold the palms out turned and chant OM three times. OM 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 Thank you, friends. I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste.